On today's menu, Peter Lee will be serving up an exciting way to teach history to Year 9. His Key Stage 3 lesson on a plate. This is a great lesson. I love teaching, getting the pupil scene really excited and motivated. It's a creative and interactive way to teach history. Matthew Bolton inspires pupils to become oh, budding the, entrepreneurs. The power loom is ideal for the capitalist factory owner who would like to make as much money as they can. All the other factories will need... And there's no holes barred when it comes to rating the performance. You kept speaking over each other. You just need to, you know, communicate a bit more, maybe. All the ingredients for this lesson are available on the Teachers TV website, including the video clip, PowerPoint presentation, handouts, and, of course, Peter's lesson plan. Everything you need to serve it up to your own class. Right, we'll start by looking at our learning outcome for today. Josh, would you mind reading that for the class? Explain the significance of several inventions at the start of the Industrial Revolution by conducting our own pitching in the past. The idea for the lesson came um, from trying to find something a bit different to engage the pupils with. If we look at the Industrial Revolution, does anyone know what part of the country we are going to be focusing on today? Is it Lancashire? It is Lancashire. Trying to make sense of something that is 100 years ago, 200 years, 300 years ago is quite difficult, and I try to make everything relevant. Blackpool, Burnley, obviously most famous for beating Manchester United. They've been looking at this in their year seven and in particular their year eight curriculum. So it's just basically building on uh, their kind of prior knowledge and understanding of that. Time to add a special ingredient. Now I set up the task with the downloadable video clip. There's just no getting away from the past. Walk around any city centre and clues to the history of Great Britain are everywhere. For me, it's trying to connect into their world, and that could be quite a, a difficulty with 1750 to 1900 history. And the one I'm interested in today, Matthew Bolton. He had an eye for business and for exploiting inventions in the markets of his day, probably better than any TV dragons. It's just trying to put that modern twist on, on it, as well as trying to develop their skills and understanding in history. Bolton was a phenomenal businessman, and the products he invested in were wide and varied. I didn't know anything about Matthew Bolton until I'd watched the little movie clip, but yeah, I felt filled in. Watching this clip made me think that it was going to be a very exciting lesson. Your challenge today is to turn back time to 1785 and pitch your invention to Matthew Bolton and his business partners. Yeah, the video clip's great, and I like the fact that he, he kind of introduced the task to them. The fact that it came on this big video screen gives it a bit more credibility and kind of hopefully hooks the pupils in. Prepare your pitch, work together and put your best case forward. Good luck. Now I'm going to divide the class into groups of three and hand out the resource packs. Can you tell me please the name of your machine today? The flying shuttle. The spinning mule. The water frame. The spinning jenny. Power loom. The group over there, can you put your hand up, please? This is the group that doesn't have a particular machine. Kimberly, can you explain your role to the rest of the class? We're going to go around and pick out all the faults with people and we have to explain if they're working well with others. Not only just the faults, we're not just looking for negative kind of things, we're looking for positive examples of team worker. Now the real nerve-wracking bit, I've got to demonstrate a perfect pitch. Right, hello entrepreneurs, I would like to come and speak to you today about this wonderful crafted English history ruler. It has all of the English and British kings and queens that have ruled our country, in particular in great detail, since 1066. Yet on the other side, it also doubles up as a ruler, which means that it is both yet informative and useful within the classroom setting. So, entrepreneurs, I hope you've been uh, impressed by this presentation and I really hope that you have the funds and the willingness to invest in such a fine product that I believe will ultimately make us a whole pile of cash. Thank you very much. Now the pupils have 15 minutes in which to prepare their pitch. 
got rid of. Matthew Bolton was a marketing genius who had a remarkable ability to spot a good business opportunity. He understood the cotton industry and the machines that would make it more profitable. The factory owners would still invest because it could produce a lot of cotton for very little money. This machine is a huge leap forward to mankind and it's the start of a new era for machines. I think we need to make it a bit brighter. Yeah. I'm sure if you go into pitching and you say, I see the long-term vision as being a load of these machines in a big factory making tons of great quality cloth, yeah, then, then that will be a successful pitch. You can just say, like, why ours is better than everyone else's. Yeah, it's better because it's smaller um, and more compact. just a history lesson here. There's also a large helping of PLTSs that give the lesson a further dimension. The personal learning thinking skills are the skills we encourage students to develop um, alongside their subject skills to become the best learners they can be. still needed people to use it. We try to make sure that we have a learning outcome that is subject based and PLTS based and it shouldn't just be the preserve of drama or English that to do this, it can be done within history. The factory owners don't have to uh, hire men because the uh, power loom provides a water and steam powered. And then loads of people lose their jobs. Yeah, I know, but people wanted to make money by exploiting the workers. That's nice, OK. <laughs> I think it's an excellent lesson for Team Worker. It um, enables the students to properly reflect on what being a good Team Worker means um, and then encourages to use those skills during the lesson and then reflect on those after. Yeah. But, um, I'm also... Although we focus purposely on Team Worker, other elements do come to the fore, you know, effective participator, creative thinker. It's the language that this year group, for instance, are really, really keyed into. It's working with everyone to sort of get the point across. And I also hope that Tanika will kind of develop it in her own way at the same time. Students don't always need to leave with the 9A stars, uh, but they need to have a whole range of skills that, that are